All right, we're gonna try this again. <laughs> hey everybody, hello, welcome back. Uh, I was muted a second ago when I welcomed y'all, but uh, I'm actually here this time, I think, even though you can't really hear the subtle, cool music of Secret World, which is just heartbreaking, even though I've got everything maxed everywhere. That just means y'all gotta log back in yourselves. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Massively Overpowered Television, where we are bringing you the dead that should not be dead. That actually feels like it fits the secret world in so many ways. <laughs> That's right, here on OPTV, we are celebrating the 10th year of the secret world. Now, it's not 10 years of active development, but we're not going to uh, be picky here because we've had the game for 10 years as of Saturday, Sunday. And uh, some of us are very glad that it's still around, even if they're just servers sitting in the background. This is the better game. So, oh, and I have a very special thing for y'all because not only do we get to hang out in the secret world and get to do the anniversary events again, but I also have a wonderful, Wonderful guest on the show today. Hello, everyone. Hey, everybody. Tyler is here joining us. And Tyler has already provided us with one backseat streaming dungeon run, I believe. Is that correct? We did the... Yeah, I, we were... I soloed a couple of dungeons. Just normal mode. But... but it was still fun. And it was great. And... I am just so excited to have someone else to geek out Secret World with me. <laughs> now, at first I was like, which class? Not really class, but faction. But uh, I decided I never did anything on my Templar with everybody. Uh, everything I did for Choose My Alignment and everything was was the Illuminati. So we're gonna we're gonna throw her in game. She's in Blue Mountain hanging out right now. I just realized, are they still doing the the golems on the hour? We might have I, I don't know if it's like exactly on any schedule. They actually turned on both the anniversary and the Gilded Rage events, so both are happening simultaneously and it's causing some weird interactions. <laughs> That's okay. I got my bunny slippers, I got my tentacle hat, and uh, I guess I could actually put... We didn't get our five-year anniversary shirt because the game had actually shut down like a few days before, and I was... I was livid. I'm like, you couldn't keep this going for a week and give us our fifth anniversary shirt? Really? Alright, where shall we meet up? I have no idea what your character's name is in-game. Uh, I'm actually fighting a golem right now, if you want to join me. Uh, my character, the one I'm on now, is uh, A-K-U hyphen M-A-I. Oh, uh, wait, let me write that down. Where'd, where'd my pen go? A-K-U hyphen M-A-I. Uh, all right, so I got to... Oh my goodness, it's been so long since I've been in here. So I have to go and even remember. Oh. Add. Oh, wait, it says... No character with that name exists. Hyphen, not underscore. Why did I do that? Let's try it. See if I can use the correct. All right. Meet up. Typhonius! Yeah, the original game, it's the best. 
Alright. Are you at... Oh, wow. Samsu is down there as well. Wow. Yeah, they can spawn in the same zone. The other day, we had... We had to spawn right on top of each other in Savage Coast. We had to, like, dodge a ninja around uh, one <laughs> while fighting one to not pull the other. It was intense. That is so great. Some other weirdness. The anniversary golems are only spawning in Solomon Island, as far as anyone can tell. And all the other zones are only getting Blingzilla. And once I saw the lunar golem spawn in Blue Mountain, which, as far as I know, has never appeared outside of Fusang before. Wow. Yeah, and the, the stream post, I actually made three different post uh, headers and asked Bree to pick. Because I'm like, the golem or should I do creepy? And she took a look at him and she's like, the golem one doesn't even look like Secret World. <laughs> like, but that's the anniversary. It was actually the golden golem that I used. Look it, it's me. And... Woohoo! I remember I shoot things with this character. Yeah, I was trying to go through all of my screenshots, which mm, labels in the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. <laughs> yeah, ditto. So the only other one I came up with was actually the Plague Bringer. And I decided that the pose that I had just didn't look as good. He's all kind of stretched out. But then Bree chose, I'm like, I don't want to trip people out with the Plague Bringer Golem. So then, <laughs> so then Bree chooses the one that is uber creepy. <laughs> I love it. Wow, I thought I was never gonna get up there. Yeah, this is why you stay ranged on this one. <laughs> Woohoo! I ran an absolutely disgusting number of golems back in the day, so I can, like, do all of these in my sleep. Oh, yeah. I... If we go to my bank... And I have rows upon rows of the pets for each each golem. I think I still have a bunch of bags. I was giving a bunch of people bags. You know, right at the end before we could move our stuff over, I spent all the money I could on my characters buying all the cosmetics I possibly could think of from London. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have done that too. Okay, but chainsaw, come on, come on. <laughs> he had a chainsaw once in a while. I haven't unlocked any auxiliaries on this character yet. I did the chainsaw mission, but I don't have enough AP to unlock it, and I keep getting distracted by other builds I want to do. <laughs> Yeah, the chainsaw, the minute that thing came out, I was like, yeah! Typhonius, uh, the art for the, oh. Yeah, talking about the tabletop RPG. Wow. I forgot what it was like to not have to worry about a heat meter. I 
the way, are you in the chat channel we have now for people left in the game? No. Yeah, it's just TSW in chat. That's how we've been coordinating the golem fights. Oh. Uh... Because there's only about 20 people still playing, so we gotta pool our efforts for the, for the golems. Oh, wow. It's been mostly the same people I've been running into every day fighting these. There were a lot more in the beginning, but I mean, that was five years ago. Oh, yeah. But now we've got both games maintenance moded. You know? Yeah. To me, that's kind of the annoying part because we lost this in order for the other one to keep going and the other one didn't even last as long you know before it was maintenance down yeah i still think that templar is my favorite Especially once you get to Transylvania. And... I'm a hardcore, hardcore dragon loyalist. This is my second of three dragon characters. Four if you count my character in Legends. That being said, I will give the Templars this. They do have fashion. What is it? Um, Virgula... Oh, I, I mean, I can't even pull it off the top of my head, but... Virgula Divina, yeah. That, that is a very good mission. That it's, mission, if they would, if they could open it up to everybody, that mission just needs to be experienced by everyone. It's fantastic. In a way, they kind of did, because there's like the nursery in issue seven, which is very similar. So, but the story is not the same. The, the it's 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 not the same. But yeah, me and my bunny slippers. Heck yeah. Oh, is it? There. Haha. -ha. Hello. This was the choose my alignment one. My personal was the Templar. Are we going after the. Yeah, I think we're going after Blingzilla now. I do not even remember which key brings up the mount. Uh, I think it's X by default. Okay, yep. I should turn the kitty cam on since we got uh, Mila here with us. Oh, this game. I love this game. I still love this game. Yeah, as I've said, this is a pretty strong candidate for my favorite video game of all time. Oh, absolutely. All right, let's see if we can bring up... Oh, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. Kitten of Chaos for your viewing pleasure, folks. Is it... The camera keeps trying to fall. There we go. She's sleeping. Actually, no, she's not a big kitty. You want to see big, you need to see Shmi. Holy macaroni, that cat is a fluffy boy. See, this is who I had. This is who I took a picture of. See, I need a new picture. That's right. That's right. Come here, gold boy. Oh, all you dumb zombies, get out of my way. You're ruining my screenshot. Seriously? Yeah, they'll do that. Yeah, I'll just... Like, I don't even remember if that screenshot key is going to work now or not. 
I guess I shouldn't. Ah! Hi, dude. Whoa. Alright, turn around, dude, so I can get a better screenshot again. Come, come. Turn, turn. Turn around. I'll Windows capture you faster. No, 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 not over there. You come this way. Turn your golden boy butt around. That's it. Keep it coming. Except now the sun is behind you. Do you realize that that's a terrible shot? Terrible shot, dude. Fine. I'll just sit over here. See your golden butt. See, in fact, my character, this is something I'm sure unknown by you. Oh, they didn't let him turn around. Emmy's nickname was Golden Butt because of the shiny golden pants that she had for years. She's not wearing them right now. I feel like I must change this. It's really bad that at some points yeah yeah my weapons and armor are all broken but y'all ain't gonna hurt me anyway some things that I Gear management. There we go. No, I don't want gear management. I want the dressing room. Wow. Did I... Oh, good. You can bring it closer. Oh! Now I have to remember the name of my... They're all fighting, and I'm just going, no, no, no. More important is getting the right outfit. It's important to have priorities. It is. That's the heavy metal group brutal pants. Never quite liked those. The... Metallic miniskirt. Silk lounge pants. Maybe we should stick with those. There we go. Pleated tuxedo pants. Gold. There we go. Emmy Golden Butt has returned. Doing these with only like 20 people? That's... Yeah, it's a little slower this way. <laughs> yeah. We had better turnout like the first day with the, you know, the streamer's anniversary event, but since then, there's only been about 20 of us, yeah. Oh, jeez. Woohoo! 16 points for me! And before I got that heal off, boom! There I went. Oh. But being able to run in ghosty form, too. And all the little things that hide in the ghosty form. Yes, yeah, say hello to the ghosts. First time that happens, you're like, oh my god, nice. That's, that's so cool. Yes, yes, Deviant Fish, fond memories, sprinkler dance, and bunny slippers, surfer shorts. I do have my bunny slippers on. I'll just come back here.
I'm sitting here trying to remember. Oh yeah, that's what these skills are. <laughs> oh, heck with the... Ooh, I forgot how much I mess up my own health with that. Yeah, we need somebody running Anima Vessel on this fight. Yep, I just killed myself. I'm like, how much does this one... Powered by your own health, the barrier on targets. Yep. Uh, yeah, blood magic will mess you up if you're not careful. Woohoo! I don't know, Secret World deaths, I'm kind of happy about that, you know? <laughs> it is part of the experience, is it not? <laughs> it has been a long time since I've been a blood healer. So... <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'll, I'll stick with my elemental abilities and try to forego. I mean, all my gear's broken. I should fix it. But I don't even remember. Just, we'll just keep hitting it. We'll just pretend I'm all damage dealer now. Nope, that was that was the wrong thing. so cute though I mean they look like they could kind of curl up in just like a little pokeball or something the golems yeah the mud golem actually kind of does do that if he's not engaged well no like this one I mean look at it the way the whole half circle shell it's got I think yeah, I guess these guys kind of look like they're you know part transformable so the golems are going on now what what has been your favorite part of being back in here? I know you've been running the dungeons. Uh, yeah, the dungeons I mostly just did for the stream. I just wanted to like show off that I could do it. Um, when I play these days, mostly I've been leveling up this character, just taking her through the story very slowly, sporadically. She's nearly finished City of the Sun God right now. Oh, wow. Darn it, that means he's gonna get some health from me. I'll just lay here for a while. Let's take a break. Little nap on the dirt. Yeah, my fist heals is my favorite. Yeah, I fist healed on my main sometimes. I actually, during the uh, anniversary event, or, you know, the streamers one, before the golems got turned on, I got to heal a Nightmare Polaris for the first time in, like, five years. Wow. Yeah, rifles and shotgun are basically what my Templar had. Although I do have some, I think I did end up grabbing fist, fist heals on her, but she, she's, she was a very much roleplay character too. She was a sniper. My dragon is the one that did all the fist heals. Dragon. This character, when I solo with her, mainly uses a fist build just for the golems. I prefer to be ranged, so I'm mainly using elemental for that. 
Oh, whoops. I didn't realize I was that close. Back off, back off, come on. Bad MJ. But this game, I mean, obviously there are some parts that Secret World Legends still did. Uh, most of the story? Ish? And, yeah, ish. And, and the idea of doing... I love that appearance versus gear, you know, is completely and utterly separate. Yes, that's wonderful. You know, and you're not even worrying about gear, you know, pants-wise and this, you know, which pants am I wearing versus which which is my gear. You don't even have to worry about that. I thought that was one of the best. And for people who don't know, it's, you know, basically this. You've got your, your little goodies you put on I've always wondered why more games couldn't do that I think it's just attachment to a sense of tradition well, also some of them. When I've inter interviewed some devs and stuff, they've been very adamant about, well, you know, we want people to know, especially PvP things, you know, anything with PvP, we want people to know at a glance exactly what they're facing. You know? Yeah, and I'm like, okay, but that's stupid. You know? People aren't gonna necessarily show off, I mean, in the real world either, right? Your favorite thing is going to be hiding your actual power. Ow. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, it's it's an argument that makes sense in theory, but falls apart very quickly when you start to think about it. Like, most games do still have a cosmetic system, so you can still change your gear a bit. Even if you don't have that, like, you know, gear isn't always immediately recognizable. Sometimes you have cloth sets that kind of look like plate or vice versa it, it doesn't really hold up yeah well we had games that uh like like ion turned around and started restricting you it used to be you could wear uh your level and anything below basically so one of my favorite set i mean actually one of my favorite hunting sets for my character that could wear medium when she needed the major m magic boost you know, my cleric, she had a light set. But then they went and changed it where, oh no, classes are restricted only to their one level. And again, it was so that you couldn't fake which would, you know, and I'm just like, okay, that's just stupid. I I am very much a an opponent to restricting people. You know, and I don't think in a in a PvP game, I don't care. You attack somebody because you think you can take them, but then you find out that they're actually a great warrior instead of a squishy glass cannon. Too bad, so sad. That's what you get for attacking them, right? I mean, that's my opinion. Uh, you underestimated the person. Fine, then you die for it. You know, I don't think they should be wearing their 
you know, everything way out in the open. That's that's just me. All right. So, Hollow Jack. Sorry as I've missed all all those times of me uh trying to pfft, not uh uh-oh, what happened here? Something changed. Something has changed. Why does my entire game look like it was moved? Why does everything look like it was moved? Death counter looks moved. I don't even know what happens. Yeah, the entire, okay. Not sure. The computer is still haunted. All right, back to chat. Hollow Jack, I love the game when it came out, absolutely. If you have the original game still, Hollow Jack, oh no. Didn't you actually have to, um... no, no, that was to migrate your characters. If you still have the game, you can still log in. There are instructions hiding somewhere on how to be able to log into both games. Um, and yeah, so we are back in the secret world, the original that is in, I mean, I guess you'd call it maintenance mode. It's not even accessible by anyone who didn't have the game originally. But uh, you can still log in. Of course, Secret World Legends is also now in maintenance mode. But it has a few more things in it. Uh, it definitely has a bit of a different feel. Um, Agartha is way different. Mm. And, of course, they did do South Africa. Yeah, see, Arabini, I I think that's I think that's absolutely wrong. Uh, I'm the opposite. I don't think people should be able to see your exact gear. I there's no reason to. You pick a fight with somebody, you just pick a fight with somebody. If you can't beat them and you can't hack it, then you know. <laughs> but ah. Oh no, camera fell. Yeah, I always liked games better where people would, would, would mask, you know, and it was really a, sometimes kind of a crapshoot whether you were going to be able to beat someone or not. Okay, that's not working. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Where it has to sit is actually n not a spot that it is hanging on. It's kind of a, let's see. I don't know why I'm not, oh! Oh, I see what the problem is. Crud, it's my mouse cord. My mouse cord is wrapping around it and pulling it down like that. Okay, I see what the problem is. See if I can fix that. Make my mouse cord stop messing with the camera. Because we all know you guys would rather see the cat. I would rather watch the cat. All right, they're not actually doing these. Uh... I think I just moved my group window too. Wow, I'm just messing everything up. Send in reports. Oh yeah, I still have my lifetime membership bonus. Go. Yeah, I've been buying all kinds of AP boosters and such for myself. 
Have I fought in real life? Yes. Have I fought in the military? No. So there's the couple golems. I kind of... Look at you just <laughs> dancing up a storm. So this character is currently in Egypt. Yeah, like just at the tail end of Egypt. I've also done uh, Tyler Freeborn with her. Oh, Tyler Freeborn. So fun. I remember looking forward to each issue coming out. Oh, yeah, it was so exciting every time. Especially, like, after Tyler Freeborn, like, the first few issues were kind of just, you know, a few extra missions here or there, but Tyler Freeborn was a game changer. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the Cat God was fun. And it was so early on that I had forgotten initially that it was one of the issues, right? I had forgotten that it was an added issue because it feels like such a, a, a set part of the game now. I was going to say, you shouldn't be having much trouble killing anything. <laughs> Yeah, this character is like super twinked out because again, like fourth alt. So <laughs> I've already got like a custom fist weapon. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what I've left on Emmy or what I've done anytime recently. Like, what is this over here? Oh yeah. Darn it. Boom. <laughs> well, do you have any any anything you're running through? Uh, the only thing I've got right now is just the uh, main story mission to get the aspects of the Sentinels in City of the Sun God. Are I'm you... sure there's some specific missions I haven't done in the, in Egypt right now, but I don't remember. Are right you now. running through and doing any of the uh, investigations and everything? I usually do the investigations, but I gotta be honest, I never really had the patience to do them properly, so I just, like, follow a guide for most of them. <laughs> I, yeah, I have massive respect for the people who do it legitimately, and I love the creativity of them and the fact they exist, but for me personally, I just couldn't really do it most of the time. The, the only one I finished 100% without help was the, uh, the big terrible picture in Egypt with the Caesar ciphers. It took me an entire afternoon, but I did that one all legit. And there's one in Transylvania that's mostly based on Greek mythology that I uh, I needed help on one stage because it was music based. I don't know anything about music, but I got everything else in that mission without help. Oh, the one... Oh, I love them. I figure them out. I went and learned how to decipher Morse code. Um, read a, a barcode. I learned how to read a barcode for one of the ones in Savage Coast. <laughs> oh, there's a lore here I don't have. Oh, I kind of miss it. I used to have a big... Um, oh, so this is one of the other great things. I mean, look at this. You go to a phone booth and you see the phone book and all of these things are in there. They're on the street. They're those different addresses. And sometimes you need to know which thing is where. Yeah, I was the one who figured it all out, and then my friend would be like, all right, as soon as you got it, tell me the answer. <laughs> Did not want to figure any of it out. He was not happy with that part. Oh, wait, looks like, uh, oh, Typhonius, you got a, all right, I see. You, you got a night botted there for a minute. I got your comment in. Box of squid. I have so many memories of the, the quest here. Dailies, I would come and run dirty laundry. This one. This would be a quick one to run. 
I used to do a lot of farming of the nightmare missions in Transylvania. There was the besieged farmlands, I, appropriately enough, was like the, the best farming route. They had a whole bunch of nightmare missions where they all ended at an item mission that would then take you to the next mission, so you could just do like a, a loop of the zone. I, I was very upset when they came out with the like e EPN update and made most of the nightmare missions normal, because then the rewards weren't really as worth it anymore and it was too easy. I remember in the very beginning running by and being like, I should be able to pick up this scooter and run on it. I should be able to use it. When they brought the, the sprints in, heck yeah. Oh yeah, I have the Bumblebee scooter too, but that's not the one I've... I got one of the motorcycles set up right now. I, seriously, right here, you'd come to this and you'd be like, but it's right here, I should be able to use it. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at you and your prancing pony. Coming in and learning from this guy. <coughs> one of the answers to one of the missions was one of the songs here. Yeah, I remember that. Kingsmith Code, I think. On the, the anniversary stream over the weekend, Joel was uh, reminiscing a bit about that mission. He was one of the main designers on it, apparently. Oh, it was nice. I mean, having been a chorister in my church where I had to set up these, the, the, the signpost where the numbers of what songs you're doing are. So when that came up, I'm like, I know, I know where to buy this. <laughs> Ah, oh, so many memories. And I'm glad, you know, okay, so, <coughs> sorry for all the coughing fits, everyone. Funcom may not be good at keeping a game going, <laughs> you know, continually, uh, uh, development, continued development, I mean, <coughs> but at least they've left these servers open. I mean, and even if there's only 20 or 50 people that come in to use them, they've left these servers open. Yeah, and I am that, so grateful for that. Oh yeah, the follow the follow the symbols. Follow the manhole covers. <coughs> yeah, breaking the codes. Um, there's one that I've still not broken. In Transylvania, and it's the the one where you have to. Uh, it's the coin, the strange coin. I have not deciphered the strange coin yet. So. Valinar Prime, yes, this game, this game was still so good. Yeah, the, the ambiance, see, I, I would give much to be able to experience the continued stories that they've written for this game. Like, can you please, you know, invite some other company to come in and I mean I don't know I just I would I really want and even if they did it in a book or or a TV show or something I mean this was actually a dream uh, that I had long time ago we're talking back in the stone ages right when I'm playing tabletop and the thing that I'm thinking above everything was how much I would love to visually play the tabletop. And this is back when I was, this is back before VR and I wanted VR where you could, you know, 
fling your spells instead of saying, I cast my fireball. You're just firing the fireball, right? I wanted that. So when Secret World happened, and it was a genre that I love, and is I don't feel like was out there much. I mean, how many... How many conspiracy horror MMOs are there? Go ahead, count. <laughs> I mean, really. Um, it won't be the same. I mean, reading will be nice. I'd love to know, but it's not the same as experiencing it. And with how good the writing and stuff was in here, and the stories, where you're drawn in, where you're jumping, where you're like shuddering because of something that happened you know you're you're experiencing being a part of the story and it's in a way that it just it doesn't happen elsewhere i mean if they even if they had a way to build the rest of the game as single player ones like the park and Moons of Man, you know, if they could do the rest of the stories in these single player blocks, I will buy those and I will play them. Just please give them to me. I really, really want them. And by the way, yes, I did like the park and Moons of Madness. I love the park. I thought it was fantastic. I'm a little more lukewarm on Moons of Madness. <clears throat> had its moments, but I wasn't, like, super impressed with it overall. Oh. You know what? You just offended the Kitten of Chaos. She is now gone. <laughs> um, well, I think one of the reasons I, I give it a little more leeway is because that was already at the, you know, death throes. Moons of Madness was... Well, you're not getting anything else, so here's this, is what that one felt like. I mean, even I have fun playing, um, I can't think of the name of it. The, the 1v1. Hide and Shriek. Hide and Shriek, yes. I, my son and I would play that. Yeah, I never tried that one. <laughs> I really wish I could stop coughing. One thing that was interesting during uh, Joel's interview over the weekend is he actually didn't tell us as much as I would have liked, but he did go into a bit of what they were planning for after Tokyo if the game had continued, and it's actually pretty different from what a lot of the fans were speculating, so that was kind of interesting. I have yet to see see that. Share. Share infos. So I don't, I don't know if the order he said it in was the order they were going to do it in, but he listed off... He said Solomon's Mines, which I think was supposed to be in the Congo. That was the one thing we were all expecting, so I think that was confirmed. But then after that, it was going to be Guatemala. There was going to be a zone around the Fountain of Youth in Guatemala. And he said apparently that I even like started work on it, and there was like some unfinished zones. And the, the concept art we've all seen of like the vine-covered T-Rex, that's apparently from Guatemala. We all thought it was Congo, but the backstory of that is that's like a T-Rex that has survived since the, you know, Jurassic or whatever, and has been drinking from the Fountain of Youth all this time, and has become, like, covered by the jungle over the eons. Oh, wow. And uh, the uh, other one he mentioned, he's well, he said Scotland and Avalon. I'm not sure if, like, Avalon is the Scotland zone or if they're separate zones or what, but, yeah, that was going to be a thing. Which is interesting because the last little note we get about Cassandra in the game is there's some a uh, little bit of flavor text in one mission that she was last spotted in Scotland, so that would presumably have been her return. Which is the one loose end that I'm really sad didn't get wrapped up. I'm I'm mostly at peace with the story ending when it did because they did wrap up a lot, and I feel Tokyo is kind of a satisfying ending. But I really would have liked to have known more about what the deal with Cassie is and what her plans are. Yeah, but Tokyo wasn't the end. Or have no. you just have you just skipped the the entire South Africa? Uh, I kind of ignore South <laughs> Africa. I, I did play it in Legends, but I was uh, unimpressed about it mildly. And you know, Tokyo, like the story starts in Tokyo, and then we, you know, we wrap up the 
the you know the filth outbreak as it pertains to Tokyo. So it's not the ending of everything, but it is kind of like a satisfying conclusion to the game's arc, in my opinion. That is true. Starting and finishing there is nice, and learning more about there. Here we're just standing around, this is like reminiscing over here. One of the two of the great characters are right in this area. You've got Moose, who's amazing, and of course Deputy Andy. My heart broke for him and the kittens. You spooked the heck out of me. And I figured I was fresh out of scares. I'm not sure how uh, much longer you want the stream to, to go, but there's a mission here for Moose that I actually haven't done on this character yet. Oh, you haven't? Oh, yes. Let's definitely do it. Yeah, it's the one for the quantum brace, the uncertainty principle. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, I can do it again. Oh, wait. Cancel my current mission. What is my current mission? Enemy of my enemy. Whatever. Tier 3. We'll cancel the current mission. That's damn good coffee, Andy. You sure know how to make a man happy. Why, thanks, Sandy. It's, uh, all I did was fill it with water and change the filter, but I appreciate it. <laughs> well, the offer still stands, Andy. When this is all over, you're welcome to hop on the back of my bike and go explore the open road together. Ah, geez, thanks. I'm sure it'd be fun, but I couldn't leave this town or Sheriff Helen. It'd just feel wrong. Well, I respect that about you. You're a good man. And any woman would be lucky to have you. Well, uh, there hasn't been any, uh, but that doesn't mean I, uh, I, uh, ah, uh, geez, I'm sorry. Relax, my friend. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Well, hey, look who's back. Got a Joe? The deputy and I were just discussing the war effort. Looks like we're having mixed success. Now, back before I found the open road, I made my living as a financial analyst on Wall Street. It wasn't life for me, but... It taught me some important things about numbers and statistics. With enough trial, plenty of error, I've been able to gauge the effects of my weapons of mass destruction. Now, from what I can tell, no one shoe fits all. And depending on the tools, different screws turn at different speeds. What the heck does that mean? It means those creatures out there react differently to the weapons. Some have tolerance for fire and heat. Others are easily brought down by shrapnel. And I've made a list. Different folks, different strokes, as they say. Andy, that's the wisest thing I've heard anyone say today. Oh, those two are so sweet. <laughs> Sorry, I have to listen to all their... All their stuff again. Alright, so. Recipe... I mean, I've already done this. That's the other nice thing, is you can go back and redo these. Alright. Yeah, I appreciate that, too. Edgar is adamant that his quantum core will improve the death-dealing capacity of my instruments. <laughs> Alright. Pick up the quantum core. Alright. Goodbye. Oh, wait, I'm still supposed to be getting stuff, aren't I? Yeah, I'm looking for the car battery. Was it the one, was it by the motorcycle? Not seeing it. Might have to rip it right out of the car. And I'm stuck on the fence. Oh! Yep, here it is. It's in the back of a truck. I'm a common. Had to teleport out of there. <laughs> this is why I will never run Cost of Magic again. The jump physics in this game straight up do not work. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can say lots of great things about the secret world, but jumping 
will never be one of them. <laughs> Ever shoot yourself off the side of the Black Pyramid? That's always fun. Alright, oh, I, I need to still get the metal tube in the spring. Okay. Uh, the just tube's back near Moose. Oh, the big spring is on the van behind. Nope, metal tube is right here. Oh my goodness, how far away did you go? <laughs> here you go. There's battery in the back of the truck. Thanks. Yeah, I think there's a spring back here, right? Hello, my friend. Maybe not. Oh, I'm short the spring. Here, springy, springy, springy. There's something inside the office? Yeah, yeah, there's a mattress. Oh, there. yeah, from the mattress. Duh. So you actually have to know things like that. It's not just random loot laying around. It's actually in there. Oh, and the first time you have to do this, the jail cell. Remember that one? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, battery acid grenade launcher. Hello, my friend. Oh, wow. No, I totally forgot. I forgot how to craft in this game. Isn't there a crafting interface? Yeah, it's Y is the hotkey. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh! Well, that's not going to work. <laughs> I forgot that I was using my uh, crafting interface as storage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was actually a trick that causes a problem once you want to do the quest. Oh... Oh my goodness. All right, what do I want to get rid of? How many council maps do I have? Why do I have a bunch of council maps? Those are just uh, to point you to the DLCs. You don't really need them. I know, but I'm trying to figure out why I have two. Uh, that I can't answer for you. Oh, man. Since I don't play, I should be able to throw out almost all of this stuff. But... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, one of the emotes. Okay, I've got my emotes in here. I've never used... Oh, wait a minute. Would that emote have gone with me? Oh, wait, I guess I already have that one. Well, that's a spare. Hey, do you have the make it rain emote? <laughs> uh, I don't think so on this character. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I should make sure my other characters have Yeah, I need to get rid of some of this stuff. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh... Wow, what was I even doing with any of this stuff? <laughs> Anniversary fireworks galore. Holiday poppers. Here we go. Ah, flares. My old arch nemesis. <laughs> yeah, the flares are... Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe I should have gone to my other character that didn't have everything. Well, I'm just gonna follow you now, because that's gonna be too much to try to... Alright. Oh, I forgot. Pick your music, man. <laughs> Tokyo. Oh, yeah, Reiki's boom box. I bring that out every opportunity. <laughs> Alright, what's song three? The Honky Tonk Strut. Okay. doing El Dorado match once where the dragon was losing badly so I just pulled out the boom box and just started strolling through the middle of the melee just <laughs> rocking out and ignoring the fighting oh you know what that's perfect people did leave me alone for a few minutes but then some Templars killed me because you know Templars hate fun I like this one <laughs> I'll just I'll just bring the uh, music accompaniment as you uh, slaughter zombies. Although did the uh, the experimental thing knock you back or are we heading out to Edgar? Oh, Halloween missions were always so looked forward to here, too. Oh, yeah. Nothing's like the Halloween in Secret World. I'm still upset that they didn't bring over all the Halloween <gasps> missions to Legends. Like, just why? I know. You're just hoping, okay, every year they were just going to bring over another one or something, and they didn't. And they left some of the best ones out. Ugh. Yeah, like why didn't why wouldn't you bring over spooky stories? Like it was so good. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll put that away. Actually, what other sprints do I have on this character? Ugh. This character doesn't have a lot. The Bumble Scooter, the Geist Rider, Nightmare Steed. Oh, the gravity skates. All right, let's gravity skate. I'm gonna switch back to Whee! my normal solo build. Start cl Oh wait, you're inside. I'm just having fun with the zombies here. <coughs> I'll get the ball here. <coughs> Sorry, fireman. For whatever reason, the fire station one is one of those places that makes me extra nostalgic. I just remember exploring it on my first day in the game. It's actually fairly challenging the first time you come here. Well, yeah, when you're such a new, new little body. Ugh. For folks who don't have the opportunity to go back and play Secret World because uh, they didn't have it to start with, 
I would still recommend Legends because you get a, a good chunk of the experience. Yeah, it's better than nothing. I played through it on my friend because uh, I wrote a and d campaign in the Secret World setting and like uh, did, you know, a whole bunch of custom rules for it and everything. It was, it was the start of my whole like game design career. But anyway, one of my friends played through that and wanted to know more about the setting. So we ended up playing through the full story and legends together. I definitely think it's the inferior version of the game, but if you don't have another choice, it'll do. Oh yeah, it's, I mean, because you can't get into the game otherwise. You know, if you didn't have a Secret World account already. Well, I, supposedly there's that link on GameSpot or GameStop that is working now, but... Really? Yeah, we did like a news story about that the other day. Someone dug up, there's still a page where you can buy codes for the original Secret World. I haven't tested it myself and I haven't talked to someone who has, so I don't know 100% if it works, but in theory it should. Wow, that would be cool. Are these like legitimate things or is Funcom gonna be like... Well, the thing is like Funcom only ever turned off the ability to buy the game. They didn't shut down, uh, you know, the ability to redeem codes. So, you know, if you still, it's been known for a long time that if you have like an old physical copy that no one used the code from, it'll still work. So in theory, this should work. I sh You know what? I have a Secret World code. I also have, this is the one game I bought uh, one level of Founders Pack. And then I turned right around and bought the Lifetime membership immediately after. And they were on the same account. So basically, I bought the game Mega twice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually, I think I still have a couple Secret World codes from... Um, possibly Humble Bundle or... Or something, or something I was, or codes I was given, right? Yeah, those should still work. Like the uh, the stream over the weekend, the guy gave away a fresh account that somehow he got. Oh wow! You can still redeem the codes if you can find them. Wow! If that's the case, folks, if you can get your hands on, uh, I I would recommend. Getting this game. Unless you don't like to be creeped out or gore is not your thing, then, yeah, if gore is not your thing, then this is not the game for you. If you want to kill zombies with a fire extinguisher, though, I mean, psh, there you have it. <laughs> oh. I forget how long this uh, mission actually takes. Yeah, I haven't done it. He just tier two of six right now. Ah, uh, sorry if I should take folks to a couple different zones since we have some new char new, new characters. Uh, we have some new folks who haven't seen the game. We should give them a I, little tour. I can always finish this later if you want to go someplace else. Well, there's there's pressed. Solomon Island, which is all the creepy. Uh, during Halloween time, world has been overrun, <laughs> you should say. Then, Egypt right after Solomon Island? I think it is. Yeah. Look at me, I'm, I'm sitting here counting the zones in my head. Kingsmith, Savage Coast, Blue Mountain, e okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Do we actually have the travel? Yes, we do. Well, apparently, I only have. I can set. I can port right to the gauntlet in the city of Sun God. Otherwise, the two Agartha. I do. I do like the new Agartha. I think that really grew on me. The very, yeah, it's very more beginning. convenient, at least. Yeah, the very beginning, I was I was a little snub-nosed about it, just like, eh. but 
but I think it really did grow on me. Oh, the fact that you can call zombies by setting off alarms. Oh, that car has an alarm. Here, little zombie zombies. Here, boys and girls. All you little undead friends. You actually have a mission where you have to set off an alarm. So you've got dark and gloomy, then you go to ice scorching bright with the Egypt stuff, and then you get to go back to dark and gloomy with Transylvania. And then you head back to Tokyo. Yeah, if you folks want to, I uh, see this is still a game. There's not even any development. There hasn't been development for five years. I would still recommend this game. <laughs> Absolutely. Tanik says, legitimate and GameStop are starting to drift apart these days, the words. But in theory, it's still a legit store for now. <laughs> That's so sad. All right, let's see. Let's do the Ghost Rider. There you go. My skull and bones. Getting this drop made me so happy. <laughs> On the subject of gloomy places, you want to hear my one of my favorite uh, little touches in this game that didn't dawn on me immediately? Yes. Share, share, share. So in the lore, you always hear the, the bees talking about, uh, you know, the half-light in regards to the filth be seeing you in the half light and all that and i always thought that was just being poetic but sometime months after tokyo's released i was running through there and i was noticing how like the lighting there is just weird like there's still a day night cycle but it never really gets bright and it never really gets dark it's just kind of a half light you know? <laughs> and it's ground zero of the filth and i realized like yeah the bees were the bees were being literal that is an actual thing <laughs> And they don't, you know, point it out or call it out to you, but it's there. I, I love the, I love how much of that there is in this game of, like, you know, subtle details that they don't call attention to. They don't explain things, but they give you all the tools to figure it out for yourself. Yes. Uh, little things that you run into and things that hit you later. Yeah. <coughs> this is the Atlantic Island theme park. Lots of fun stuff happens here. The Black House. The Kindergarten. Oh, the creepy music at the Kindergarten. Yeah, let's hang out there for a moment. Hello. Oh, do I have in-game music set up, set down or something? Do I have the music set down? Oh, I can't hear the kindergarten music. I'll see you later. I'm kind of set. Oh, there it is, a little bit. Creepy Christmas music in the uh, Nuffelheim. Crows picking up bodies, you know. Like I said, if you don't like <laughs> gooey gory stuff, then, uh, oh, haven't, haven't done this in a long time. Wait a minute. This is the black house, right? No, it's a little. No, it's here. not. Yep. 
It's not not the right house. Too close to the kindergarten. Over here. Here we go. Yeah. Black Ness lore was the first like set of lore I made an effort to collect all of it because I was just so taken with the story. Yep, there was one up on the porch. This house is so... I'm like, I'm gonna show you guys all sorts of different zones, and then... No, I'm not. I'm actually just going to, uh... I'm just gonna check out the fuse. I... Hello, beautiful house. Of much creepiness. You get to listen to one of the radios in here. And crying and bloody walls. Getting shut in here. <laughs> yeah, that's always fun the first time. <laughs> You're like, ah! <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Doesn't it like fill up with poison gas that yep. damages you too? And the, you have to break the down the door. And... Yep, you have to break yeah, down the, the door smoke. because the, the house being burnt down. And then there was there's a lure usually right over here. Or it's on the other side, I'm not sure. As the yeah, ghosts keep while. hitting me. And then all the fun down here with the gooey, drippy bloods. Oh, the candle. Oh, crud. Oh, Run crud. Away. I forget where are the stairs. Where are the stairs? <laughs> Yikes. Jeez, it Welcome to the burning house. <laughs> oh, it's still going. Holy cow. <laughs> there you go. A little bit of a jump there as I forgot you could do that when not in a mission. <laughs> Wow. Um, and then, oh, yeah, Tokyo and... Uh, there are just so many, so many things. The cultists and everything that, that happen in Egypt... Uh, I mean, if you didn't have, like, Nasir and Saeed and stuff, you've got some good characters in there. But... I don't know. I think some people took the brightness as a, it seemed like a, a psychological break, you know, for people to, I'll, I'll show you folks who haven't seen it before. We'll just do a, uh, shift T should be it. Oh, well, city of the sun God is not exact, not exactly the bright Egypt. Okay. So maybe I'll just go to the main platform. Although I may not remember my way around now. <laughs> I may not remember how to get around. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, navigating Agartha was its old mini game unto itself. Yeah, and jumping down and dropping places to get the, uh... My edges are perfectly safe. Oh. Follow me. Oh, that's right. Off the edge. It's 
City of the Sun God started to be gloomier again. I, I think it really... Uh, maybe it's not what it was supposed to be, right? But it felt like they put they had Scorched Desert as a psychological breather for folks. You played in the dark and the filth and the everything so, so dark and gloomy for so long that maybe it is not correct, but it felt like Egypt was a, a psychological break. I think a lot of people viewed it that way. I didn't particularly like Scorched Desert. It's my least favorite part of the game. I find the I find it kind of oppressive in a way, but I'm weird like that. Yeah. Now, of course, we came here in the middle of the night, so y'all can't see the bright, shiny desert which is here. But I promise there is bright, shiny desert here. Nasir and Saeed are great, though. That much is true. Oh, yeah. Dancing Nasir is just happiness. Um, well, original... If you want to talk about see The Secret World, it went all the way through Egypt. So, not... <laughs> It went all the way through Tokyo. What am I saying? Sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm distracted here in Egypt, by the way. Um, oh, y'all want to mess with me? Fine. That's right. Oh, I forgot those guys knocked you back. Go away, patrol officer. <laughs> like, I come to show people the bright glariness of Egypt. And I it's worth, fail. it's almost in-game dawn, so... We're almost there. We'll be able to show you. And then after this, you go back to... The doom and gloom, now it's not quite as much filth. You go to Transylvania, you really start delving into more of the uh, myths and legends that started happening. So Solomon Island was taken over by the fifth, filth. I'm not so sure about my speaking abilities today. Like, what on earth am I doing? Oh, hi, Coldest. I bit off more than I could chew. Oh, no! Oh, and I abandoned you. I'm sorry. I was trying to get a lore I didn't have. Oh. Yeah. Lore under big old, you know, boss's foot? I'm going for it. <laughs> so yeah Transylvania went into werewolves, the Romani vampires it, it, it really delved more into the <coughs> the legends and lore um, I would say I am so sorry for all my coughing, everybody. Um, Egypt was more on the conspiracy side. Solomon Island was the otherworldly infestation. Conspiracies, then uh, legends, and then you cycle back to Tokyo, which kind of just brings it together. You know, it's ground zero of the filth. I would say Egypt was pretty heavy on the history and mythology, too. You got, like, the, the sentinels who all embody a different Egyptian god and all that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about them, yeah. A lot of cultists, a lot of, you know, but it's, um... So, cults and deities, maybe, would be the best place for here. And then you yeah. went into uh, natural creatures in Transylvania. Is 
what it what it felt like. And Tokyo was back to, I mean, you've got the infestation and some conspiracies. You had the Elvis impersonator. <laughs> I loved him. I grew up, my mom loved Elvis, so I listened to Elvis a lot when I was growing up. So he, Ricky. Ricky I, Pagan may well Pagan. be the single best character in the game, and that is saying a lot. <laughs> Oh, folks, I, I'm just, I'm going to say it. This game is 10 years old. This game has not had new content for just over five, well, it shut down just over five years ago, but it's not really shut down because they kept it open. If you can get your hands on a key, I recommend, I still recommend this game. Just come up, son. Hurry, son. Well, the moon's gone down. Yeah, you got a lot of burning sacrifices here. <laughs> and my game just crashed. Ah! I'll be right back. It does that. A giant scorpion should be down under here. Spit spewing scorpions. What? How are you still alive? I just killed you. stuff <laughs> yeah it does all of the all of the zones do talk about filth do have to do with filth there is filth in the desert um, but that doesn't seem as much the focus it really feels like they were trying to give folks uh, a bit of a break which then made the darkness of Tokyo, not Tokyo. Oh my heavens, I am just messing up left and right. Transylvania, <laughs> the darkness of Transylvania more, more prominent again. Um, no, I believe the entire the entire Tokyo story was done here in Secret World. Yep. The only thing that Legends had story-wise was it added the South Africa. Yeah. That is the only thing Legends brought with it. Was it added that little extra, but so you could kind of feel this is a and that is another thing. This game does feel like it, it could just be a, a single player game. You know, take out things like the, the nightmare dungeons and world bosses like that. I mean, in the beginning, the first four years, you know, or something, you had to play so many of the missions you go in, the cutscenes, a lot of these story missions, you couldn't do them with your friend. They cut you out. You had to degroup, go in, do it by yourself, which was always a raging annoyance for me because I prefer gaming with friends. I didn't get, you know. Uh, so, I mean, if they had a way to just, just market this like it's practically a single player, right? and then bring out the other story modules i would i would i would snap that up in a moment for sure for what it's worth he didn't you know say anything's in the works but joel did say that funcom continues to consider uh new secret world games there that's still possible he says anytime they're planning a new project secret world is always one of the things that gets brought up yeah, but they just bought the, the, you know, they just paid a hefty sum for the Dune IP, so everything is going to be Dune based forever. Yeah, yeah, probably. But I, I really wish they would, or let a little, little independent company, you know, made with some of the old <laughs> story people and stuff, let them make more, more single players. I, I would. 
for the secret world, I have to, I mean, as a lifetime member, you know, I never had to buy any of the, the packs. I never had to. They're not in range. Oh, there we go. There's some sunlight over here. <laughs> we'll go over here. I know a lot of lifetime members who would have still bought the packs as, you know, uh, as much as as a consumer, you have to love the whole, you know, bought it once, never pay anything again, and keep getting all these really great updates. But I, I don't feel that worked as well for them in sustaining their revenue. <laughs> Yeah, they may have been a little too generous for their own good. Yeah. And it, weird, it's weird, it's, it seems weird saying that as a consumer. But, yeah, they, they should have... If, if we had to, to pay more for all the little bits and baubles, and, I, and a lot of us, even the... A lot of Grandmaster Lifetime accounts that I knew were willing to do that to keep the game, you know, going, but... Valinar Prime is saying I might have to come back to the OG. I don't think I finished Tokyo. You know what? Yeah, that's just it. This, as, as Tyler said, Tokyo here kind of wraps up the story. So if that's all you experience, then you feel like you've got, heck, a better ending than, you know, a bunch of different TV shows. It, <laughs> it wraps things up better than a lot of places, a lot of things. Even though it does not continue. So, whereas like in South Africa, left on a an obvious massive cliffhanger, right? I don't know if you remember it very much, but yeah, it's, you know, the whole final cutscene is this mega, mega cliffhanger. And... You know, see you in Congo, and then, you know, nothing ever again. Gone. See? There you go. This land, very bright. I wish there were more things. I'm sure it couldn't really be done well. But, uh, you know, freaky haunted shadows kind of thing. Feels like it would have fit in this game really well. <laughs> I mean, the shadows are good. Can you imagine if they just started running off on their own? So yeah, you definitely had a brighter zone than the next one, City of the Sun God, as you continue the Egypt storyline. Uh, it gets a little darker. A uh, little more, little more filth, a little more hazy. It doesn't look as bright, and then you're right back into the deep dark. Tanic, I have a lifetime. I've been okay with getting goodies from the store, buying the DLC expansion separately. Yeah. I mean, they were, they were, I, I feel generous to a fault. I, I think that would have help to them have more development funds because people love, they wanted the next thing, you know, you wanted more story. But it's not like you could stop and say, you know, later, oh, by the way, we're going to have to have you all just start paying for this more, right? <laughs> that would have never gone over well. Oh. You know, even though I've been tongue-tied, like, through half of this misspeaking a million things where my brain and mouth aren't working together, um, so this is a quick look. Transylvania goes back to dark and literal Transylvania. And Tokyo is running around a part of the city. Kind of like in New York, you're running, you, you're actually running around. I think it's, you're running under the Brooklyn Bridge. You know, there are little bits. I was so excited. The first time I went to New York City, I went looking for the spot where you are standing. <laughs> Granted, it's not exact like the buildings that you're breaking into and stuff, but yeah, you can find it there. 
I don't think there's a real Solomon Island, though. But if there was, I'd be buying me a vacation house on it. <clears throat> oh. Well, crud. I actually want to just stay in this game for the next, like, ten hours. But, unfortunately... This feels like the longest stretch I've gone without coughing for a bit. <laughs> If you can get in and get this game, seriously, I recommend it. And being able to play through it would be just... I, I would love to have a memory wipe and to play through this game again. Because while I still enjoy things, it's not the same once you've already experienced it. Fun cultists. Everybody has fun cultists. <sighs> Thank you so much to Tyler for being with me on this and being somebody I can talk secret world with. Thank you for joining us. And do you have any thoughts, words you want to send out to all these, all these folks tuning in today? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I was going to say, did I lose him? Did I lose you in voice, Tyler? Uh-oh. Something's wrong. I do not see it lighting up. I don't see it. Oh, no. Okay, it is lighting up and no sound is coming out. No! The filth has infected Tyler. <laughs> oh, no. I, I actually am seeing your uh, green lighting up but no sound was coming through. Oh, I, I hit the mute button ah! on my headset. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Oh, God. I've been, like, chiming in with comments for, like, the last five, ten minutes. I God only knows what you've missed. Everything. Have not heard you say a word in quite a while. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I did that once and chat didn't finally like tell say something to like 20 minutes later in my stream. 20 minutes of silence. And I'm like, y'all didn't think to say something. Well, maybe you were just being quiet. When have I ever been quiet for 20 minutes while gaming? <laughs> anyway, mostly I've just been agreeing with you about everything. Yes, people should check this out this game. Yes, I wish I could wipe my memory and experience it all for the first time again. And, uh, and of course, you've got alts galore. Yes, I have five. One of them's, like, just barely made it to the police station in Kingsmith, but I do have five. <laughs> I do have five, and I have one guy that I created with a weird name that I'm trying to figure out why I ever made him. It must have been something Choose My Adventures. What? I don't make male characters. So I'm trying to figure out why I have this guy. <laughs> I, I don't know why I have that character. No clue whatsoever. Oh. Some of I talked you... to some... I talked to someone yet the other day fighting golems said they had, I think, seven characters and three of them had full ability wheels. That's amazing. Yeah, First. I thought I was crazy for having two full ability wheels. <laughs> I like have to turn down background music again. It's like, that's a little bit loud. <laughs> 
Oh, handstand. It's even more amazing that your head is not touching the ground. <laughs> Be magic. Oh, so those of you talk about downloading the game, scouring the internet, get a key, whatever. If you can, absolutely. And I'm going to go looking through my stuff. See if I've got any. I might actually just, you know, get one of my kids in. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. My family will come before you when it comes to giving out keys. <laughs> but if I have extras or I find extras, that would actually be something really neat to give out. I remember giving one out in the very beginning when Secret World Legends was coming out. I did give out a key that I had for folks to get into Secret World. So I might sell more. Yeah, and if you played before, all you have to do is go to the uh, account page for Secret World. Not Secret World Legends, you might have to do some digging on Google, but if you can find the original Secret World account page, all you have to do is log in with your old credentials and download the client, and it'll work fine. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Again, thank you, since I, you, I'm sure you heard me, but... <laughs> yeah. Thank you for joining us here, and for all of you who joined us, for this 10 year anniversary. It was on Sunday. MJ doesn't stream on Sundays. Hence, there was no, no stream then. And it uh, turns out that what I thought of doing, I was gonna do something on Monday. MJ bit off way more than she could chew on July 4th. <laughs> so the Secret World stream on Monday got nixed and moved till today. But that was nice because then I got to have you come in and join me and we love having more of our mobsters, more of our staff coming onto streams, doing streams. It's very wonderful to have that opportunity. So thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. I'll take any opportunity I can get to gush about the secret world. I literally wrote that whole D&D campaign just so I could sit my friends down and force them to listen to me explain the lore for a while. <laughs> I still have um in my files on the computer because i started keeping track of i was going to to publish a list of every single bestiary lore every single you know all of the lores i was marking down where they all were everywhere on my own little thing and i had a list of best quotes that i was collecting from from different places yeah there's a few i've committed to memory the the blue ridge mine lore is great the, the facility lore i love yeah i i feel like i kind of feel like going back starting a new character and doing that again it would be fun to do it with friends you know but then again some of it so it seems like a massive said close down before you have the chance you still have your game box and all and shame that it sunset. Well, it didn't technically sunset. So for me, talking about a game sunsetting means y you don't have access to it anymore. There's no access to it. And we do still have access. So even though it shut down, I, it didn't even shut down the live servers. I mean, the live servers are still here. Your characters yeah. are still here. Yeah, if you got a game box and a CD key, you can play. Absolutely. So there is a chance now, since I've roped Tyler in, and I know I've gotten Chris interested in stuff too, maybe we'll have some more Secret World streams instead of just Secret World Legends. Yeah, I can definitely join for at least some anyway. So that will be fun. All of you who are interested, if you want to learn more about the game, more about Secret World legends as well you know because that game is live and out there then check it all out massivelyop.com actually tells you lots of stuff we share things about games there imagine that would have never thought that right <laughs> and of course screenshots galore so many great screenshots in this game check it out i put the link to today's stream inside let me know if you would actually start playing the game or go back and start playing The Secret World, that would be awesome. Tell us in the chat because we can continue 
we can have this whole conversation there, which we can't have in Twitch because it gets erased. And of course, the stream team calendar is also there and you will see everything that's happening for the next week plus right there on the bottom of every single page. So until next time, everybody, thank you so much for supporting us coming here now. Uh, everyone who's whitelisted ads, that is seriously a big thing that keeps us running. Believe it or not, if you can't Patreon, you can't Twitch sub, you know, things like that for support, whitelisting the ads is actually a huge support for us. So feel free to do that if you want to do some more support. And of course, sharing with friends, coming, being a part of the community, that also is a big help. So thank you, everybody. And I hope that they will keep these servers running for the next 10 years. To be honest, I really do, but I would like to see some single player games of all the next content or duo. You know, a lot of four person cooperative games happen. Let's see it happen for these. All right, everybody. Yeah. They <laughs> 100% I've been wanting to do the manufacturing too for so long. <laughs> and Kadri went back for the 10th anniversary and the fact that they turned the anniversary event on. That warms my heart. That makes me happy. Hopefully more will happen. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Don't forget there is OPTV tonight at 9, 9.15. Not exactly sure which time, but come at 9 and we'll be here. So have a good one, folks. And be seeing you, sweetlings. Happy birthday, Secret World. Ten years old. Scary.